Ways to support Teacher Ready. Under each video, join button, YouTube membership, click, select level. In the description, Discord, join, have fun. In the description also, Patreon, click, select level. In the description, donate, PayPal. Merch store, t-shirts. Email address is in the description, and yes, I know I look like Bert Kreischer. What's good, fam? Teacher Eddie back with another reaction. Going back to one of my favorites. Haven't done any videos by Samonella in a while, and today's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, Diogenes. Uh, Diogenes is one of the most uh, fascinating of the, of the uh, ancient Greek philosophers, but also at the same time, one of the most misunderstood and definitely, I mean, very, very, very entertaining person, to say the least. So I'm sure this is going to be a really fun one. Diogenes, the publicly wanking philosopher. Let's get into it. Hey kids, time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest. Today, we're gonna talk- Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! You talk my language now, Salmonella. Leave it dripping down, yeah, dripping down that chin down to that chest, man. Hit me with that knowledge, man. Hit me with that, just shoot it right in my face, son. Talk about the greatest mind to ever live. Nope, not him. Nope. Keep trying. Who I'm really referring to is the ancient Greek philosopher known as Diogenes of Sinope. Diogenes followed the school of thought known as cynicism. Far from the yelling at CNN, sitting down during the pledge kind of cynicism we know today, cynic philosophy centers around the rejection of conventional desires in favor of a simple, moderate lifestyle. But while many philosophers made a virtue out of self-discipline, Diogenes took all that to a whole new level. He was the most down-to-earth guy out there. Literally, he lived on the ground, in a big tub in the marketplace where he'd beg for a living. This is very true. This is absolutely true. And not only was he a follower, he's actually, he's one of the founders of cynicism uh, as a philosophy. And this is absolutely true. He would beg, uh, he, would, he, he would live in squalor, uh, and he was, uh, you know, very against, you know, the whole cosmopolitan way of life. And he was all about the, the simplicity of life. And he was not afraid to say anything to anyone. Um, there's, there are no writings that survive. Um, but there are some stories and anecdotes that were passed down. One of the most famous ones was uh, him meeting Alexander the Great. Who was, of course, I mean, Alexander the Great, right? One of the most feared, um, you know, conquerors of all time. And uh, the story, there's several different versions of the story, but one of the versions is uh, Alexander approaches Diogenes and sees him. And Alexander uh, was reported to have been a big fan because, you know, Alexander was very into uh, philosophy and he was taught by one of the greatest philosophers of all time. And he approached Diogenes and let him know, you know, that he was a big fan and he wanted to know if there was anything that uh, Alexander could do for him. And Diogenes, being Diogenes, said, yeah, uh, you can get out of the way because you're blocking my sunlight. And <laughs> Alexander didn't kill him for it um, and, and laughed it off, actually. Uh, and then there are other versions where uh, Alexander said... If I could be anybody but Alexander, uh, I would want to be Diogenes. And of course, Diogenes replied, if I could be anyone but me, I would still want to be me. That was Diogenes. For a while, his only possession was a wooden bowl, until one day he saw a child drinking out of his hands, and he was like, Pfft, what do I need this shit for? Now, though his way of life and perspective was unique enough, it's the way Diogenes showed it that really set him apart from the rest. When someone today wants to go against society, they dye their hair blue and make a blog post about how there aren't any obese women of color in Super Smash Bros. On the other hand, when Diogenes has something to say, he just jerks off in public. 
takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around him. Keep in mind, though he was an unwashed, publicly defecating homeless man, that's not all he was. His wit was easily on par with his philosophical contemporaries, and his yes. lack of inhibition meant that everyone knew it. For example, here's an often pondered question of the day. How do you define a human in the simplest of terms possible? Plato decided to tackle this question, and he came up with featherless biped. And in the ancient Greek world, they didn't have any kangaroos or gibbons or nothing, so people were the only things around that both walked on two legs and didn't have feathers. Plato thought he was real clever with that one. Diogenes, on the other hand, he wasn't having any of it. So he said, all right, you pompous prick, I'll give you a featherless biped. So in reality, we do not learn. And what we call learning is only a process of recollection. <laughs> oh god damn it, not you again. What's up fuckers? Hey, check out this person <laughs> I found. Isn't it such a human? Look at him, wow. What a guy. Anyway, love to stay in chat, but I saw some trash outside that looked delicious. Smell you later, deliberator. Oh my god. <sighs> Yes, my student. Yeah, uh, what the fuck? Here's another <laughs> anecdote. Macedonian King Alexander was a big fan of Diogenes, so he decided oh, okay, to pay him a go. visit. And he said, hey man, big fan. If there's any favor I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know. I'll make it happen. Now, to put this into perspective, this is Alexander we're talking about. The yeah. guy who had his cousin straight up assassinated so he could take the throne. The guy who would later go on to conquer the majority of the civilized world. And you know what Diogenes says? He goes, yeah, you can do me a favor. Move over, you're in my light. Wow, I'm just, I'm not even mad. You really are just a legend. Diogenes lived up to the ripe old age of 89. Yes. I don't know if that's a testament to his lifestyle or if he just got lucky, but either way, if there is a god, he definitely has a sense of humor. The exact cause of Diogenes' death varies depending on which source you look at. Yeah. Some say he died from an infected dog bite. Others say it was from eating raw octopus. My favorite theory is that one day he just got tired of living, and he just held his breath till he died. He left behind instructions on what to do with his body after he oh, passed. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, when people think of special post-mortem instructions like these, they usually think, Scatter my ashes at 6.53 a.m. Oh, the not Diogenes. Uh, the one thing that Sam skipped over, because um, he, he's now talking about the end of his life, which is the way he wanted to go out, uh, what he wanted done with his body is fantastic, so I won't get into that. I'll let Sam explain it. Uh, but he skipped over the part where Diogenes, uh, was eventually, um, you know, he was exiled from many places, obviously for, uh, his persona and for many other reasons. Uh, but eventually Diogenes were actually captured, uh, and he was sold into slavery for a long time. And, uh, but eventually he started spreading his philosophy, um, uh, and, you know, he kind of, you know, Diogenes his way out of it uh but yeah that's an interesting fact Diogenes was sold into slavery later in life as well the western face of Mount Rainier using my grandfather's favorite ladle none of that with Diogenes he kept it simple in the words of Danny DeVito when I'm dead just throw me in the trash specifically he wanted his body tossed into the wild so animals could feast on him thereby giving back to the earth what little he took from it so kids, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. The man who appears to be nothing more than a shit-smeared babbling vagrant could actually be the wisest man you'll ever meet. That's true. Or he could really just be a raving fucking lunatic. Bring a knife, just in case. Anyway, till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Sam. Uh, yeah, so, so he said, uh, as far as what he wanted done with his body, he said to toss it over the city walls and let the animals, you know, eat me. Uh, but he also said, but just give me, uh, make sure when you toss me over, you give me a stick. And then he was asked, well, why would you need a stick? He said, to beat the animals away. And they said, but if you're dead, why do you care? And he said, exactly. Why should I care what happens to my body? So Diogenes, definitely someone very fascinating. Uh, extremely, I mean, one of the most underrated of the great thinkers and philosophers of his day. Uh, you know, Diogenes was, uh, as mentioned in the video, uh, you know, he was a contemporary of, uh, of Socrates uh, and disagreed with Socrates on many things. I mean, he literally, I mean, in nowadays it would be called trolling. He would troll Socrates 
and he questioned Socrates' interpretation of Plato. Um, so he was definitely somebody who, who kept everybody on their toes. He was like, uh, in, in the modern day, God rest his soul, he, he would have been somebody like Christopher Hitchens. I'm a big fan of Chris Hitchens. Uh, gone too soon and definitely somebody we, we need in the world today. So thank you again to Salmonello for creating amazing content and, you know, piquing that curiosity. And if you're interested in learning more, I definitely recommend to check out, uh, you know, some links on the Internet, some stuff on the Internet about Diogenes, because, again, he doesn't get discussed a lot and he's, he's extremely misunderstood. I mean, there, there's actually I forget what the disorder is called. But it's named after Diogenes, and the, the disorder is termed for people who are like hoarders of things, which is the exact opposite of what Diogenes was. Diogenes was not a hoarder. In fact, it was the complete opposite. He, he was somebody who believed in just the bare necessities of life, you know, like in the Jungle Book. All about them. Bare necessities, oh simple bare necessities. Um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I say he's extremely misunderstood. But either case, I want to thank everybody. Thank you for all the support, fan. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for joining in Discord. If you want to support the show, you already know what to do. Check the links in the description. And I will see you in the next one, fam. Shout out them Patreons. And as at the end of every show, we want to thank the Patreons for supporting the show for keeping things running, starting with the Chancellor's tier. Wouder, Chris H, Jump with E, Need You, Blue Tech, Phoenix, Laughing Jackal, Electra James, Elena J, Douglas, the Principal tier. James R, Spacey Doodle, Ulrike, Mick, Quiet J, Clement, Vijandra, Muri Kakari, Alan, Chad, Alex, Lauren, Aaron Shepard, Chris L, Lord Gandalf, Freeman, Nathan, Rasmus, Tommy F, and Upset Bro. I've been Teacher Eddie, and I'll catch you next time.